Hi, this is Simon Jarrett, and I thought I'd do a quick video of uh, a new guitar I recently picked up. So this is an Epiphone uh, Les Paul Special, and it's a recent one, I don't know, 2022, uh, maybe 2021, I'm not sure, but I bought it new in the store. And uh, yeah, I'm having some fun with it. I think it's a great bang for the buck. And I wanted a, uh, a Les Paul Special or Les Paul Junior style guitar with P90s. And uh, while thinking about getting a nicer one, like a, a more high-end one made by Gibson or another company, I, uh, I tried this one out in the meantime and uh, thought it was really good, especially for the money. So I decided to pick it up. Now, uh, nothing groundbreaking here. It's a really straight-ahead guitar, two P90s, and a typical Gibson Les Paul style uh, uh, Les Paul special style guitar, you know, slab body. Um, one thing I noticed though is that um, while it's great, uh, you get a great guitar for the money, um, the sound wasn't that that brilliant. It was okay, but it was a little bit, uh, the articulation wasn't quite there, it was a little bit dull sounding. So I did swap out the pickups. So I got some Wolf Tone P90s, so it's partly to demo those as well. Uh, so this is the Wolf Tone Mean and Mina P90s. I was contemplating whether I wanted two Means, which is a lower output P90 that Wolf Tone offer, or if I wanted to get the quite common uh, Meaner, which is a slightly hotter P90 in the bridge. And I went for that, still debating whether I made the right decision or not. Um, basically, the hotter a P90 is, the more of that squawky mid-range uh, it has. And some players love that, and some people find that P90s can have a, a bit of an over-aggressive over mid-range. So I wanted to avoid that, but I, I took the chance. And I, I think it's pretty good, but I'm still contemplating whether or not perhaps the straight-ahead mean, which is the lower output version, would be better in this position. Anyway, um, I'll put a note in the description as to the gear I'm running through and go through a few sounds. So here's a clean tone on the, uh, on the neck pickup. Fairly warm, jazzy kind of sound, um, combination of pickups. I find the guitar has quite nice sustain and it's quite nice for uh, singing lead tones. Uh, it doesn't fret out, the setup's pretty decent. I did a little bit of work on it but nothing too major. Adjusted the truss rod a tiny bit so the actions I like. P pick up height makes a big difference um, to the output of the guitar obviously. And uh, that's about it. Try some dirt. Now, P90s are really noisy, and that's one thing that's always bugged me about them a bit. I'm used to playing uh, single chord guitars, strats and tellies, and you kind of get used to angling the guitar a bit to minimize the noise. On P90s, it's even worse because they're 
fatter and hotter. So for example, I'm playing, I'm playing with mild dirt here. There's barely any overdrive, what you'll see in a minute. Right here, it's pretty good. When I hit more dirt, you'll see it gets quite noisy. But luckily this position seems to work quite well where I'm sitting right now. Uh, one thing to note is on some P90 guitars, when you go to the mix, it's hum cancelling. Not the case here. As they come standard, the Wolftone uh, P90s don't have any humbucking action when you combine them. quite enjoying how you can get a singing sustaining tone from this and then if you dig in you get a bit more aggression and bite out of it. So here's a little bit more overdrive. There's that P90 hum. Got to learn to live with it and ride your volume so that whenever you stop playing, zip that volume down. Thank you. 
touch sensitivity of the the pickups and the guitar. I think it's a lot of fun, and it gives uh, gives me that P90 sound which I didn't have before. So all in all, pretty good. A little bit more gain still. <laughs> Thank you. 